So today we are going to be going through every single creature which has been confirmed coming to Ark Survival Evolved for the Genesis DLC in January. This is going to be really awesome because so much has been announced in the big extra live stream yesterday. Well, it was mainly Saturday and Sunday because it was a 24-hour stream. And if you're interested in seeing any of the gameplay and other stuff like that, I recommend you watch my video I uploaded yesterday. It is really, really awesome. But in today's video, you will see every creature, all the pictures, and everything we now know about them. You know, whether they're going to be rideable with saddles and all that sort of stuff. This is where you get your ARC information. Now, as always, if you guys are hyped for Genesis and you don't want to miss out on any news because there is a new event coming this year, um, I mean uh, this month, there is another event coming in December and then we get Genesis. There's going to be so many updates, guys, in the next few months, which is crazy. So as you guys know, Genesis Part 1 and 2 um, is the 4th and 5th paid DLC expansion packs for Ark Survival Evolved, and we found out lots of stuff. So there's going to be an active volcano, an expansive water biome, which you guys know is something I've made plenty of videos on about how the water biome is going to be huge in, um, uh, in Genesis, an intimidating snow-based mountain, a lunar biome with low gravity, a thin atmosphere, oxygen vents, element fog, and solar rays that will kill the survivor if they are exposed to it, which is a little bit different to what, what is normal. A bog biome, which um, I, I suppose we'll learn a little bit more about. I'm not feeling very safe going there. But then we have all of the new creatures, as well as the other spawns that we know so far of dinos that are going to be in the game. Because... There are going to be some that won't be featured within Genesis, um, obviously to uh, make way for the new ones. But the new ones, which we'll be going into a second, in, in, in a second, is the Astrocetus, I think I'm going to say, the Bloodstalker, the Giant Turtle, the Moda, I'm going to go for, which is a new boss, which I'll be showing you guys, um, Blade Wasp, Ferox, and the Magmasaur. So they are the new ones so far, and also, as you can see at the picture here, there is going to be biome-specific reskins. So what this means is, in a certain biome, dinos will take a reskin from the certain different effect of the biome. They look really, really awesome. And what you guys will see on the screen right now is the Allosaurus, the Bulb Dog. Um, obviously, the, the, this this fish is going to probably be have the worst time in the new dlc because there's the new fishing nets coming out which um i actually have seen some gameplay on and they are awesome i might i might actually upload it on the channel um i might put something together and see if we can get some good gameplay of it and um, which it looks so cool um we've got the itchy i um, never say yawnis i can never say it right um We've got the dolphins, the capruchius, the manta, megalodon, mosasaurus, um, the big guys, the paras, the parasaurs, um, the ter uh, pteranodon, sorry, raptor, rex, saber tooth, saber tooth salmon, the seekers, spino, a surface reaper king, and the tape jar. And that is what we know so far is going to be in the new DLC. I know you guys came for dinos, so before we go through any other like items and stuff that are going to be coming to the game, let's hop in to the first new one. <coughs> so, anyway, moving on. So, the Astrocetus, I think that was the name, is going to be, obviously, a fantasy creature, and it is going to be underwater. This is um, one of the creatures... Well, actually, no, that, that's where I'm wrong. It's actually not going to be underwater. It's going to dwell in the lunar biome. And the way that I know this is because in my video I did yesterday, um, you actually see right at the end of the video, um, it actually sort of, like, sort of goes very slowly, like it would swim through the ocean, but it floats through space. Now, there's very little information known about this. We know there is actually going to be a saddle, so it's going to be tameable and rideable, but none of us know how the space combat in Genesis is going to work yet. So, there's, this is very early days. I know Genesis is coming out in January, but there's still lots of stuff for us to learn. <coughs> <coughs> and I can't seem to get rid of this cough. But anyway, there is actually the reveal here. But the reason why I could come back to it at the end, but it is quite long. Um, I could play it and skip to the part because I know you guys are going to want to see it. Um, so what about some of the other creatures? Are they going to show the gameplay? Um, and our players. Are, oh, it doesn't look like they're actually well going to. Oh no, there we go. Okay, somewhere, what, somewhere what along here. Right, let's mute that. Um, and is this where? There we go. A bit of gameplay for you guys here. The lunar biome, and as you can see, this is the way that they are just going to be going through. It's really awesome. Really, really awesome. As you can see. But yeah, if you do want to see a little bit more of that, as I said, check out yesterday's video. And it also has the ability to warp to its destination as a hyperdrive. 
much like the Enforcer. However, anything within its range will be warped along with it, which sounds absolutely crazy. And I feel like this is definitely going to be an interesting new mechanic in the game of how space is going to work. So the next one is something people are very, very interested in, and this is the blood, the blood stalker. Sorry, this is meant to turn you into Spider-Man. That's what people are saying. Spider-Man in Ark is what this creature is meant to do for you: turn you into Doctor Octopus or something like that. It is tameable and it is rideable. No saddle needed, and it's just going to be crazy. Now we thought this was going to be a giant spider, and that is because here it says we find the lucky ones tra um, trapped in giant webs and everything like that that but now we know that the blood stalker is going to be something very dangerous but this is the picture i can show you guys right now on the screen this is the blood stalker and the way that it works if i go back is it will actually like latch onto you so you will be able to fly with it climb walls like dr octopus from spider-man shoots webs from its shoulder tube so it's going to act as like a machine gun as well for you absolutely crazy and i don't even want to know how powerful this thing is going to be i just i just don't know i i, I really don't don't want to think about it yet there's going to be a lot to learn in genesis you can tell that already now one i'm not really going to go over because um many of you guys would have seen it you would have seen it so many times to the point you probably don't even want to see it anymore unless you actually can play with it um this is the giant turtle it's going to be tameable it's going to be a massive part about um you know the new water biome that's going to be coming with the game so it's gonna be a massive part about that the one thing though we did not get a real anything any information on was a video i've made plenty on which is the blade wasp now this was a new creature that was announced to come to the game in mysterious mysteries but in the stream it was very interesting to see that there was no information on the blade wasp which <coughs> I kind of wanted to find a little bit of information about, but unfortunately, we don't have any yet. But I think it's pretty much safe to say this is going to be some sort of wasp. And it's going to, you know, it's not going to be as cool as something like the Bloodstalker. So I'd rather find out about that. But anyway, moving on to something very exciting. Moda, I'm going to call it. The Moda. This is a, a new creature, but as you can see, it is a giant underwater mini boss. You may have seen this on the thumbnail in yesterday's video. This is what Wildcard did for some concept art for us. It looks absolutely huge. Now, I've heard, I've seen like so many people say, Dom, you gave us information three years ago about an underwater boss coming with an underwater obelisk. And guys, three years later, it has come true. I only base my videos off fact, and I know sometimes people say, oh, well, this video wasn't, or that video wasn't. Whenever I get the most littlest bit of information, I always love to bring it up, because Wildcard have it in store. They always have these little things in store, and they might not work on it for the next two years, but it always does happen. And exactly like this, the giant underwater boss, I'm sure with the sunken obelisk, is going to be joining us within the Genesis DLC. I don't really know what to say about it because I don't think we have anything else this section describes how to fight against it and we don't know anything yet um, so um, is the Dutch word for mother and it's the first underwater mini boss in the game and that's all I can really tell you guys from the information now the next one is the ferox now the ferox is what you would have seen I'm sure in the trailer if I'm correct it is obviously from here the th thing that looks like a Jaboa and then turns into like some crazy thing once a uh, consumed element um, this is obviously a closer up picture of how it's you know the concept art of how it's going to work and turn into an absolute beast so the ferox is a medium sized shoulder mounted pet when tamed they fo feroxes will search for element and notify the survivor when they have found some if the ferox consumes element it will transform transfer into a larger more aggressive form of itself which is faster more agile and deadlier in nature the ferox uh, aggressive form also comes with dangerous attacks such as pounce or mega slam much like the Danonicus, the ferox will be able to climb scale cliffs and other vertical surfaces whenever the ferox transforms into its aggressive form its need for element becomes greater and it is e um, well and it will be more easier for the ferox to enter the bloodlust state similar similar to the giga rage this bloodlust state will cause it to attack anything, and once it has passed through that state, it will pass out and return to its passive form. Absolutely crazy. This one is definitely something I can't wait to try out. As you guys know, as I've done in the past, I know I didn't do any for Fear Evolve 3. I'm really sorry, the spawning commands. I know I normally did those, you know, back of the old Loaded Crisis videos. I've been so busy as of late, and the reason why I didn't is because for Fear Evolve 2... 
the f you know like we it was it was years ago people were coming back to the old videos for them and i felt like they were all the same and i didn't really want to do the same again i'm kind of upset i didn't do them now because i know it's what, what you know sort of what built this channel but don't worry this is all, all the spawn commands for all these dinos will be up the day this is released. It does take a little bit of time to find them out, but I always do in the end. So, the next one is the Magmasaur. Now, this is the official name of it now. It has a saddle, and it is tameable, and it is rideable. So, the Magmasaur is a fire-based creature that gains strength and charges up attacks through heat. It has an affinity for lava to even the point of swimming in it, but it does dislike water. The Magmasaur has a heat-resistant stat saddle that protects the survivor from heat, fire, and lava. Now, I'm hoping they're going to show us the picture of it here, because there was some really good gameplay, and I'm going to show you guys that now. The Magmasaur will consume anything which helps it build up some of it, uh, some of of its attacks and can act as a refining forge to smelt metal and refine other resources. Cold and water will weaken um, will weaken it and it cause it and cause it to become a lot slower than it usually is. So they don't actually show the gameplay here. So in the reveal, I'm going to yeah, get already... something up for you guys if they're going to show it. Is this it here? This should be it. Okay. Or was that the end of it? I, oh yeah, okay, so this should be the start of it. This was the reveal within Genesis. So this should be able to show you a bit of how the uh, the, the saddle works. As you can see, it's roaring at them and, you, and shooting fire and lava and whatever. And as you will see, when they get closer with the raptors... Um, this is the like what protects you from the lava. Um, so that's the saddle of how the magma saw is going to work, which I think it looks really, really awesome. Definitely going to be a powerful tame and definitely something I am looking forward to too. So that currently is every single confirmed dino. Now I did just bring this up again. There wasn't really any point of it. I just wanted to show you guys in a larger scale. You know, if you wanted to look into some of the different types of skins, that saber tooth looks ridiculous. That looks so cool. The spino does as well. But I have all the aloe in the lava biome looks quite cool. But I think it has to go to either the tape jar there or the saber tooth. I think it's got to be the saber tooth. But yeah, new biome specific reskins. Now, very quickly, I, I didn't want to make a video on just items. Um, I might do later if... Um, uh, I'm definitely going to do a how to spawn in video for the items. But, fishing net, tech claws, tech remote guided missile, mining drill, tech cruise launcher, and tech shoulder cannon. If you want to see that, check out yesterday's video. There's going to be a jet, pressure plate, tech jump pad, metal ocean platform, tech alarms, alarm system, wooden ocean platform, and obviously the saddles, and that is pretty much everything that I can show you guys right now. All very exciting now, guys. Genesis is getting closer, but what I can tell you is that November, we have Genesis Chronicles number two. We have Turkey Trials number three or four. I think it might be number three, which is the Thanksgiving event. We also have the December Christmas Winter Wonderland and maybe Genesis number three. So many updates coming our way. Exciting times. Genesis will be released in January, late January for console and the PC. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button and I'll catch you guys later.